Yes, that's the end of the East African anthem. I'll have to say that's significant because can you imagine for the first time we have somebody from Uganda joining our orchestra? For, so we have made it regional and we, we felt as the Kenya Conservatory of Music that we should have a space that women can perform in a safe space and be, be happy to be on stage with other women and just celebrate. And I must specify, we are not celebrating women in exclusion of men. No, we are not, because we are daughters of sons, aren't we? Kenya Conservatory of Music was set up, and this is the language they used, to further the education for music, drama, and dance. And, um, at the Kenya Conservatory of Music, we turned 75 years in February. And that's, that's a significant year. We, we, we've been at the Kenyan Cultural Center for, since 1960. And we're really excited to look at what we can do in the future and what, what is possible in the next 25 and the next 75 years. to know the Kenya Conservatoire by coming here for a BRSM and then my parents came to me saying that there was this program on International Women's Day that I could play with an orchestra. The piece that I'm playing was, compo was composed by a Norwegian composer called Johan Svensson. He spent most of his time in Oslo and composed many pieces but the most famous piece is, is Romance. Um, I like it because uh, it's slow and I can portray all the feelings that I want to portray with it. Um, I'd like the people who are listening to me to feel the story behind the music and to be in there with me with the music. Shalene is fortunate, she has Mr. and Mrs. Obara who've been at her support. They've been here every rehearsal. We've been doing rehearsals for the last eight weeks. We've been preparing with the team since October. And there's, when, when we started with this program, we really didn't think that we'd be, we'd be here three years later. Our dream is by 25 years on, we'll be doing an African International Women's Day Orchestra. So I feel the future is even going to get better. With more diversity, more of our own music, as Kenyans, as a whole, the whole of Africa, and, and growing our own identity through the music. To be given platforms such as this concert, to perform and showcase our work. You get to learn and you get to showcase. the jewel area and it's basically about a woman describing how she she wants to live her life to the fullest with all the happiness with all the beauty that a rose has she wants her life to have that as well and she won't let anything hinder that and that's why I got very expressive and very very free as you had in the show so
ABRSM is um, an examination body for, from the UK, and we've been the, the representatives in Kenya for since since the beginning of the exams in Kenya for the practical exams. And the new musical theatre um, exam, of course, we are very excited about that because they are looking at um, music that, that's not just necessarily classical. That examination will definitely be something that can reach out to younger children who do watch musicals from, from Cinderella and all the musicals that are out there. Um, and, and be able to relate, learning the, the music language, but also relating to the, the material that they perform. First time performing with the International Women's Day Conservatory Orchestra. Um, it's been a pleasure having to exchange cultures and um, ultimately come together as women in the music industry. I'm glad to be part of this. I enjoyed every moment of it. Uh, big up to the orchestra, the conductors, and the performers. Good show. Thank you. So, having women players on stage representing the women. Uh, in globally, so it is a really nice experience to see and watch. It's lovely to see the girls, especially the young ones, perfecting their skill in music. And uh, Ruby, Melissa, and your colleagues, that was awesome. Keep it up. It was exciting, and I had so much fun. And I want to thank these <laughs> two for coming, and it's her birthday, so happy birthday now. The best birthday gift I could ask for, actually. Yeah. Happy Women's Day. <laughs> The conservator has given the girl child an opportunity to showcase talent. I also wish to urge our East Africa countries to join Kenya to promote uh, our young talents. I loved it, it was well, a uh, time well spent. The, the exciting part about being 75 is now we are fully run by Kenyans and for Kenyans and, and we are really looking forward to making it uh, possible for the next 75 years to tell an African story. And this whole year we'll be celebrating the 75 years in every event that we do. So come May we'll have an, another event that's focused on the guitars. In July we'll have another event, uh, classics, at the, classics in Nairobi. And then again in August we'll be in Classics at the Coast, all celebrating this important milestone. But at the same time we are, we are looking at our strategy and seeing how we'll be relevant in the next uh, 75 years in the, on the continent.